We are going live now by the look of it. Let me see if you can hear me. Can you see me? You should be able to do that. So let me know in the comments below. Number one, let me know your name. Make one up. Make it easy for me. Joe, Jane, something like that. Um, let me know where you are from. Any city, any country. So I know at least I get some sort of idea where you guys are from. Okay. We have Matthias. Hi, Akash. Nice to see you. Akash, I'm going to do the um, Discord this weekend, okay? So and I'm going to send you all the details via email if that is okay for, with you. Yeah? Okay, I just got a notification on my phone. I am live. <laughs> so let's see how many people come in. Let's uh, just wait for one second. Um, let me know your name. Let me know where you are in the world. Let me know what watch are you using. And let me know if you have any issues with One UI 5. I guess you do. Um, I have seen so many reports. It's like literally piling, piling up. Morning from California. A. A. Han. I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, I'm based in Munich. Morning. Good morning. Hey. Kisa. Hi. Kaiser. Hi. Um, Kinal. Nice to see you. When will India get Watch 5 update? I don't know. You're talking about the LTE version, I'm guessing. Pakistan, Mohammed, nice to see you. Um, Dan in the US, Watch 6 Classic. Thank you. Good to see you. Owen, Watch 4 from the UK. Hi. Matthias, Argentina. Nice. Mr. Rainbow, Jeffrey. Hey. <laughs> Jeffrey, nice to see you again. How is Tel Aviv these days? We've got sunny, sunny weather over here. And, oh, there's a fun fact before I get into the serious stuff here. There's a fun fact. Tomorrow, the Oktoberfest is going to start over here uh, in Munich. I don't know. You, most of you probably know the Oktoberfest. Um, madness will start for two weeks. Complete madness. People drunk everywhere. It's about 7 million people come within two weeks just to visit here and go and drink and do whatever. Hey, Chris from Texas. J Jacob, Jacob. Jaku from Poland. Um, rainy, Akash, it's rainy in India. Okay, so let's get into the topic. You, you've probably seen, or hopefully you have seen the video. Um, oh no, hang on a second. Please hit the like button. Like, like and subscribe, hit the like button. It's very important for the algorithm. You know, I'm going to pester you all the way through this um, live. Please hit the like button and subscribe if you, not have, if you haven't done, done so yet. Tadeo, St. Lucia, nice place. You have the Galaxy Watch 4, battery straining badly as I got to One UI 5. You are not the only one. I am not sure that helps, um, if that is comforting. Richard, hi from Israel. Where, where are you based in Israel? We've got uh, Jeffrey from Tel Aviv here. Um, thanks for the updates. You're welcome, Big Mona. Um, What else we got? Malaysia, nice. Galaxy Watch 4, <laughs> One UI 5, battery drain bad. Okay, let's get into the topic. So, the video I have released earlier, which you need to, hi Niels, um, which you need to watch after the live stream, not during the live stream, after, once we finish, once you have hit the like, subscribe button, and once you um, get all the details. So, this solution that I presented in that video is actually not new, okay? That solution has been around for a while already for the year, the, we're talking about the, um, the, the cash partition wipe it clean. But the interesting part about the whole thing is that because there was such a major upgrade, the One UI 5 and Wear OS 4, that this is actually doing a much better job than just doing it out of the blue and saying, okay, is my watch laggy or is it, is it doing better when I do this? So when I went to the original video, and the, the guy is called World of Tech, so we got to give them credit here. So he's, I think he was the first one, or one of the first ones who, um, who published that. But there was one guy who left a comment literally a day ago for the Watch 4. And I'm going to read this to you. I wanted to read this to you before you go and um, watch the other video in order to make this happening, okay? I'm just going to read the most important part. So hang on, stay with me. Um, so he's saying, okay, so I did this method exactly seven days ago as I'm typing this comment in brackets. I actually made a reminder on my watch to comment my seven day observation after this method. So he has done what, what I'm showing and what this guy is showing in the video seven days ago. Okay. 
And I didn't expect this to work, but it freaking worked. That's his, his own words. It did solve the visible lugginess and stutter of the whole UI. And my favorite part is that I, I really did notice a significant, significant battery life improvement. Yes, I am not even joking. Well, at least it worked for me. So that's what he's saying online. So once you finished, go to my video I published today and do what I'm showing you in that video. That is very, very important, okay? I know it's a bit of a pain, not really when you watch it, but it's, <laughs> it's okay. Okay, and before I did this method, my watch force battery was draining so damn quickly, like I can only get six hours of it at home. Now here, here are his settings. Wi-Fi on, location on, always on display off, race to wake on, auto brightness on, power saving off, okay? I also have the water uh, reminders on and so I actually use it and press buttons from time to time and I also use the timer very often for house chores whenever I cook. He cooks, that's good for him. I also do five minute push-ups daily, even better, he cooks and can do push-ups. That's, you know, something to aspire for. There goes some sensors working hard as well. Okay, where now I charge it at 11 p.m. I still have 86% left the next day around 12 noon and with the same settings. Before he had, what is he saying before as like, I can't, you know, oh yeah, so six hours he had before. Now he has like 86% left the next day around 12 noon. So that is incredible. So that solution, that wipe cache partition has worked for him incredibly well and he has observed that for seven days in a row okay okay let me see um who else we got here hypermedia Venkat, hi um israel we have already niels hi kaiser samsung watch 4 when will india get blood pressure and ecg um i'm sorry i don't seriously don't know your guess is as good as mine um copy hi us usa <laughs> Um, Derek, I still don't have UI5, I'm in UK, I have Watch 5 LTE, any help? Derek, I tell you what, it may be actually a blessing in disguise because we have so many issues here with the One UI5 that um, it's literally piling up on Reddit and everywhere else. So I just spoke about the the battery stuff, right? The um, the battery drain that can, so it can seriously be fixed by doing what I show you guys in that video. The next one is also an interesting one. We, we discussed that in the last live, right? We discussed that, and that is the, the sleep tracking issue. So Carlos sent me an email today. Um, thank you, Carlos. If you're watching this, I appreciate your email. And he's, he's basically explaining what he has, the issues he has. Also, all the Reddit posts on that. So now I kind of investigate, well, not kind of, I did investigate that a bit further. The interesting part on that sleep tracking is that one person reported the following. Just give me a second. Cheers. It's, I swear to God, it's sparkling water. He said, he or she said that when he or she did the, the, the One UI 5 update, it was good. It, nothing changed for the worse. Okay. However, when he updated, he or she updated the Samsung help app, then things got worse. So what that person is saying is actually not the One UI update, it is the update for the Samsung help app that made the sleep tracking unusable right now. If you go to Reddit and go everywhere else and all these forums online, it looks crazy. Everybody's complaining about deep sleep and it's not working. What I need you to do is go to the Samsung members app and report this over and over again, all over again. Always report all of that. Um, otherwise, Samsung will never, never fix that. So just to recap that, it could be that this is the Samsung Health app that is screwed up now, not One UI 5 when it comes to deep sleep tracking. So if there's any way to reverse that, um, up to the previous version. I don't know if that works. If anybody knows how that works, then share that with us um, and see if that solves the issue. Then we are already a step further ahead in the game. Um, Jakub, I can confirm no overheating issues with the Galaxy Watch 6 LTE, like with Galaxy Watch 4 LTE. 
same environment conditions. That, that, does that mean you did have issues with the Galaxy Watch 4 LTE or not? Um, just let me know. Derek, should I restart? Always good idea, restart. You know, you know with, with Windows, um, when you have a Windows machine, nine, nine out of 10 errors will be fixed when you restart your machine. So <laughs> let me see. Can you pin the link? It will be helpful for all. Which link are you talking about, Akash? Unless you're talking to somebody else, I'm sorry. Um, anyone with problems on what's, I'm guessing is WhatsApp notification? I have no issues with WhatsApp notification. Anybody else? Um, ba -ba -ba. Java Dual, hey, I already wiped cache on Galaxy Watch 4 LTE, but did receive, did so you did receive the update or you did not? Java Dual. Java Dual, if I pronounce that correctly. So that's important because if you have the LTE, LTE version, then you, you're probably one of the first ones who ever received the update, the One UI 5 Wear OS 4 update. Um, chic, my LTE Watch 5 Pro in India does not have the update yet. No, LTE not. Let, guys, do me a favor, hit the like button. Let me know your name. Let me know where you are in the world if you are new. Let me know all these things. Um, make a name up, make it easy. Joe, Jane, whatever, so I can pronounce it properly. Okay, thank you. Okay, what else we got? No update in India LTE version, no. Um, overheat, okay. Okay, so Jacob said, I had overheating issues with the Galaxy Watch 4 LTE. The same service provider, the same signal. Okay, so the you do not have the overheating issues with the Galaxy Watch 6 anymore, but you did have it with the Galaxy Watch 4. That's what I'm getting. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. Um, excellent. Okay, let me let me tell, show you something else or read something else to you. Okay. And that is especially for the LTE user. Okay. <laughs> because Derek, you, like, well, not, not just Derek, but everybody else is like, I want this update. Okay. This is from somebody who posted um, his experience, his or her experience after the update for the Galaxy Watch 4. It says, if you have not updated yet, please do not. I have updated the watch a few days ago and I'm seeing the following issues. Number one, activity time or calories burned for the day is not calculated. In brackets, the heart animation only shows the steps taken for the days after the update. It's closed. Number two, a 25 minute walk by me the other day got detected as I walked 25 minutes, but, <laughs> but 26 miles and 75,000 calories burned. Now, you probably won't be alive anymore if that would be the case. Um, you can't eat that much in a day. Number three, I used to get about one day and 10 hours battery with power saving always enabled before update. Now with power saving enabled, I'm getting around 22 hours. And then number four, you now need to install another Samsung application to back up the device. And if you uninstall the app, all your backups are gone with it. Okay. Okay. So for all LTE users, this might be a blessing in disguise because Samsung needs to fix a whole bunch more than just the battery by the look of it. There's so many issues um, sleeping the stuff I just read to you. Let me see um, the link for the video where the issue got fixed. Okay, that's the, the previous video. The, the, um, I published this video about what, three or three hours ago? If you go there, um, then that should be, I will, I will link it once the live stream is finished and I will link it and it's a good point actually, I should have done that. See, live and learn. <laughs> Jeffrey, I'm new today and I will send you my, my blood sugar test. No, no, I hope it's good. I hope it's good for you though. Um, Anton, interface since I bought the Watch 4 has been sluggish, have they resolved it? Anton, go to my previous video. I published a video about three hours ago. If you have issues with your battery life, if you have issues with lagginess, do what I show you in this video. But watch the live stream first, that's important and like the live stream, that's also important. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, Sajia, my Galaxy Watch 6 Bluetooth version, Google Play service drain battery, please give some su suggestion, yeah. Um, I've done 
another video where it's called i think three life hacks three life hacks for the galaxy watch 6 go to that one and do all of that as well please the google play services drainage is a known issue to everybody you are not the only one you're not alone i don't know if that helps or not it probably doesn't help because um <laughs> your battery will still drain like there's no tomorrow but there are some things you can do in order to um well to do well to get better battery life okay it's a bit of a pain it's a pain painful thing you have to do we shouldn't be able to do this because we pay money for that but it is what it is for now um the reason also the reason why i delayed this video the one i did today because i don't necessarily agree with the steps we have to take in order to make this work okay i need we need samsung to really and i'm going to demonstrate this here samsung to pull their finger out of their bottom and fix this because i've just seen the comment on the video earlier and somebody says what is the point of having a beta version released and beta testing if that is the end result and you know what you got a good point what is the what is the point of doing beta um testing if that is if we still get a beta version okay let me see dan what's up on my watch six classic lte in us i can only open one chat i cannot see any other chat to start any other any thoughts um i don't i don't think i have that issue Botu, J, wait, wait, wait. jp do we lose data if we do the process in the latest video no 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 it's safe Botu. all it does okay good point i'm going to explain to the best of my ability how that works so if you live i'm gonna put it in a different perspective if you live in a house apartment wherever you live doesn't matter you live somewhere right and somebody would come and move in with you but would bring their own stuff with it like bed kitchen sofa and then suddenly you wouldn't have any more space in in your living room right or wherever you are in your bedroom so the idea of the whole one ui fight where was update upgrade is actually an upgrade is that when it's being put on your watch it doesn't get rid of all the stuff that's been there before so when you pile stuff up that's the, that's the logic behind it when you pile stuff up then it just puts it on top rather than make a clean cut and say okay here i am one ui5 and where's four i will just make it nice and clean so that's the whole idea so what it does basically it wipes it all off you will not lose any data you will not lose anything and once it's done you basically have a fresh installation of One UI 5 and Wear OS 4. That is the reason why this is so powerful to do this now, okay? Um, I've seen somebody saying he's, he's, he or she's doing this um, for years, which is cool. But the reason why this is powerful now is because the upgrade, as you, as you can remember, took a long time, number one, and it's also 1.7 gigabyte. So there has been something running in the background on your watch that is quite heavy okay that means everything has been piled on top and you have to get rid of the old stuff that you've been using in order to make room for the new stuff i hope that makes sense i try to explain it in the best possible way to the best of my ability okay richard universal gestures change just what is this what is this doing um i want this to show the screen like i'm raised is this possible well, you have to enable it and, and try it. It's not for me, Richard. I don't, um, I'm not, there's, there's, there's a whole bunch of people who like that, but I don't, I don't use it um, at all. I tried it once uh, and I find it a bit finicky, to be fair. Um, I think, but it's just my personal opinion. So, you know, at a certain, a certain age, then you, with all these things that you just ignore that, you still put this light switch on as you would normally do. <laughs> That's the truth, truth be told. <laughs> Julian, US, Pennsylvania, nice to see you. Five Pro LTE, sadly still waiting for the final update, still in beta, okay. Uh, that channel, Universal, see, you've got somebody who's saying Universal Gestures is awesome. 
it depends on your needs and what it is you you want to do with it probably um chris did you know if you turn off transition animations the bezel on which no i did not know i don't have that no okay okay hang on chris did you turn it off completely or did you dial it down to 0.5 that's important because we dial it down to 0.5 we don't turn it off um we go from 1 to 0.5 in order to make it to increase battery life and what have you just by a little bit but did you turn it off completely that's important to know okay um chic what's up actually drain a little more battery on my watch 5 pro i think that's normal isn't it yeah but that's down to um what's up itself to um yeah to the application to the developer itself what's up is pushing out updates ev almost every single day so i would suggest do an update every single day i get almost updates every every single day to um to what's up and google maps and all of that chris off completely okay so when you turn off the transition completely um, i've never done that so if you go back and put it on 0 0.5 and see um if that makes a difference it should make a difference because i don't have that issue minus on 0 0.5 jeffrey i know it was a joke no don't worry about it i know um what, what else are you saying a galaxy watch freezing take it off your system. <laughs> yeah that's a good that's a good one um Faisan, i didn't get one ui5 from my galaxy watch 5 in india okay you probably have the lte version that's probably why right okay once okay i need you to like this video please and subscribe if you have not done so that is very very important it's, it's nice to see you again um it's a bit of an unusual time friday afternoon i know a lot of people are probably still at work um or planning to do something tonight but i thought <clears throat> after i've done this video this morning i thought it's important to give you that update again to make sure you see that video you go to that video and do what i tell you or what i demonstrate in that video to get the most out of your watch and the most out of your update i already have seen positive comments from that video that i did three hours ago but people say okay it's already making a difference it's not as laggy anymore and so on and so on so just do that once you finish that live stream once you hit the like button you finish the live stream go back to my previous video the one i published three hours ago i will put it in the link thank you akash for reminding me um i will put it in the description sorry rather the link in the description okay um al, al yama does the update improve sleep and heart tracking or gps tracking it certainly does not improve sleep tracking <laughs> i'm sorry um it makes it worse the deep sleep is no longer detected properly you now probably sleep um 10 minutes deep sleep when you had two or three hours before or four hours um there's a whole bunch of people who complain about that there's a whole bunch of people who have issues with the sleep tracking now after the update um so <laughs> the answer is no as for the accuracy for the heart tracking and gps tracking there's no difference whatsoever okay what else we got um Amar, using the universal gesture uses a lot of battery or anything that is out of um well anything that is in addition to what you normally use will probably use a lot of battery as well cheers it is sparking water i promise it is sparking water <laughs> i don't drink and i don't smoke that is very important i don't drink i don't smoke call me boring i don't care um by and i didn't get the one ui5 on my galaxy watch 5 in india lte version that's probably the one any news on when the wear os4 update now no it's the lte version it, i would so educated guess is probably next week faizan i didn't get one ui5 from my galaxy watch 5 in india bluetooth please reply jp um Ooh, that's a tough one we everybody else has got it already um is that did you buy that in india or did you buy it somewhere else that's that's also good to know um chris i just tried 0.5 and it works perfectly even 
better, faster. Excellent. Nice, nice. Well, I'm glad you did. I'm glad you asked. I'm glad I could help. That's great. Nice to hear. Perfect. Um, Manvik, when I connect iPhone with with what with watch time and date wrong, not able to download any app from App Store. So, uh, okay, when I connect iPhone with watch, okay, come on, time and date wrong, not able. So, how do you connect? Do you just um, I'm I'm assuming you have a Galaxy Watch which you connect to the iPhone via Bluetooth, right? So, if that is the case. <clears throat> There is a, there is a, there's a, I don't know if it's still free, but when I when I feature that app, um, that app will give you a better integration than when you just connect your Galaxy Watch via Bluetooth to your iPhone. The app is called Merge, M-E-R-G-E. -E. I repeat, M-E-R-G-E. -E. You can find it in the Play Store. It should still be for free, but it does a really good job in integrating your Galaxy Watch into the iPhone. It's not fully like a wearable app, but it is really good in doing that. So that should really solve your problem. Okay. Jeffrey, you don't drink, you don't smoke. Perfect. Good man. Perfect. Um, how to back up the watch now because I want to reset my I think you have to install smart smart switch and stuff isn't it um, I've seen you have to install that and then you have to be really careful it's an automatic backup now that that you don't lose all the data PK when I turn on location on my watch it stay it says can't locate on my watch even though I have my watch connected to my phone okay let me read this again when I turn on location on my watch location on my watch it says can't locate on my watch even though i have my watch connected to my phone okay so what what else is is that inside outside is it wi-fi envir environment so there's a whole bunch of stuff that is um important because if you can't if you live in a in a building that where you cannot find the signal or when the gps signal is weak then you will not find the location um, i'm just trying to to analyze your problem <laughs> more or less okay Google Maps. Okay, so where are you based when you do that? Are you like outside on the top of a mountain or are you inside in the basement? And, you know, I'm just trying to get to the bottom of that. Um, okay, mine is bought from the UAE, but it is an Indian Samsung account. Um, I, I know that the UAE should have the update as well, though. They should have the update. Okay, make sure you like this video. I'm, I'm going to pester you all the time. I'm very sorry. I'm going to do this, okay? Hmm. Seika, Galaxy Watch 4 Classic LTE version, not one UI5 received in India. Nope, you're not the only one. Um, <laughs> that's, that's unfortunately the case with all LTE versions right now. Alberto, there is a major problem with watch backup with smart switch. Yeah, Galaxy Watch heats while backing up and shut down to cool down. Oh, that's, I didn't know that, but thank you. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's, that's good to know. Don't know if it's mine only who's making this or happens to many. I've seen um, that the one, one person, but that's different though. Um, one person is saying that when they install smart switch, when they install the smart switch application to back up the device and then uninstall the app, all your backups are gone. So that's important to know, okay? Um, so, but the overheating, that's a, that's a big problem. Uh, that was that a normal, um, regular watch? Like, I mean, the Bluetooth version or is it an LTE version? That's good to know. Um, sponsored by Sparkling Water. Yes, it is. Kathy, you're, you're very welcome. I love doing these, these um, sessions actually more than doing the videos because I like the interaction with people more than just doing a video, um, if that makes sense. Okay. Hi, uh, Mario. Hi to you all. Should I upgrade from Watch for Classic? Uh, for Classic Performance is great. To what? Uh, Mario, where do you want to go to? Um, Apple Watch? Oh, sorry. I'm only joking. I'm only joking. I'm assuming it's a Galaxy Watch 6, right? Let us know. <laughs> make sure you like that. Um, make sure you like the videos and, and, and subscribe if you have not done so. I don't drink or smoke neither. Um, either never have, Kathy. That's good. That's very good. I'm very proud of you. That's very nice. Um, that's good. 
Yeah, I don't see Putin, you know, when you come to a, to a certain age, then there's no point putting poison into your body anymore, right? Because there's, you only have a limited time of heartbeats available. And, you know, if you can avoid stuff like that, then why not? Okay, Alberto, you have the Bluetooth version. Okay. Um, yeah. Well, it's probably overheating then because it's doing too much on, and it's charging at the same time, right? But it shouldn't, I mean, um, the question I have, did it screw up your um, your your backup completely or could you recover everything? That's important to know. Um, my Okay, Drip is saying my main battery drain was um, heart rate being constant instead of manual HR check. Okay, did it really solve that? Wow, that'd be, I mean, I don't know. There's so many people who have the issues here. Pfizer, why I didn't get update? What what I didn't get on my <laughs> Galaxy Watch 5 in India to my watch, I watch check daily, but no, no, just I don't know why. I have no idea. Um, Faisan, what happens to my I don't know. I wouldn't know. PK, also the music tile is buggy. It disconnects automatically when I try to forward the track or play pause multiple times. When you say music tile, which one are you talking about? Um, the Samsung interface, or do you talk about YouTube music and or Spotify? Please let us know. Even after being from Germany and don't drink, you truly earn my respect. Thank you so much, Akash. Yeah, I don't drink and I don't smoke. That's um, I do eat none bread though, but you can't see that because I go jogging before. Before I eat a lot of naan bread, garlic naan, by the way. Ama, I can't back up. Um, link the backup now button is not there. Plus, does anyone has the issue with the sleep mode where it wouldn't start automatically? Um, the link the backup now button is not there. There's an, no because you can't do the automatic backup anymore. You only, you can only do a um, excuse me a it's an automatic backup now. With a smart switch um, installation, that will use yeah, cool. No, can't make any back backup. And each time it starts the process in the middle, watch heats and turn the cooling process. Galaxy Watch Four, by the way, and there's no old normal backup mode. It's gone on One UI Five. That's correct. Um, Dan, have to go back to work. Thanks for this video. Well, enjoy your work. Thank you for being here. It's going to be a short one today. Anyway, I wanted to make sure that you guys have all the information at hand that you also go back to the other video that's important please go back to the other video and then do what i show you in this video what i demonstrate to you guys in that video that is important okay that that really could solve a lot of issues i've seen testimonials all over the place i sound like a salesman now but <laughs> positive and good testimonials testimonials PK, not YouTube or Spotify though, Samsung Media Controller, okay. It's another bug in One UI 5. Um, I have to get back in. Let's see which one. I'd recommend a couple of more Indian dishes. <laughs> yes, no, I like Indian food, as you, as you know. You know that. I love Indian food, actually. I love the... Uh, I eat a lot of Indian lamb and... Yeah, lamb is actually what I eat, what I like eating. Okay. Cool. I'm going to I'm going to close this up today because we have nice weather outside. I'm, I'm going to be selfish. I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to go jogging as well and enjoy the rest of the sunshine. So you guys have a nice day. Have a nice Friday. Have a nice weekend wherever you are in the world. Um, if you have any more questions before I go, let me know. I'm going to wait a little bit longer just in case. If not, <clears throat> PK, although I have some complaints after the update, but the Samsung Pay works like a charm. Loving it. That's good. Few people were, sh were shocked when I made the payment of the watch. <laughs> That's funny. Um, Amandi is one UI5 LD version old out worldwide. For nope. No, it's not. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you, Jeffrey. Thank you for being here. Um, and thank you for everything you guys doing. Okay. All right, so let me know if you have anything else. I'm going to close this up today, um, short and sweet. Make sure to like this video. Make sure to go back. I'm going to pester you. I'm very sorry. 
make sure to go back to the video I published today. That is important. That's the whole point of that video here. I read the testimonial at the beginning. Um, if you watch that video back from the beginning, I read the testimony of somebody who has done exactly that seven days ago and can only say positive things about that. Okay. The cipher, you have to go cipher. Okay. So, excuse me. The whole point of this video is for you to, to make you aware of, excuse me, of the solution. I have bought it from other creators. But I want to make sure that you guys get it as, as well, because that maybe the algorithm doesn't show everything in YouTube and you know the, 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 the usual stuff. So the cipher, please go to the video I have published about half an hour ago, uh, sorry, three hours ago. That will basically help you to increase your battery life when it comes to your One UI 5 and Wear OS 4 update for your Galaxy Watch 4 5. Okay? Um, okay, a bunch of other people. That's nice, Akash. That's very, very nice. That's uh, superb, superbly nice for me, of you. Okay, all right, guys. Have a nice weekend. It was lovely to see you. Make sure to like this video. And I do the oh, the cyber, you do this every single week. Okay, did you update to One UI 5 already? Okay, so you did. Okay, I just see. So you do, you probably have the LTE version, right? But still waiting for Wear OS 4. So the whole thing with the with that solution is that um, because the upgrade is so heavy that when you do what you do, the wipe cache partition, that this will have a major impact in a positive way. Okay, um, that's the whole point of that. Um, although you do this every single week, after the upgrade, you, it will have a major major impact, a positive impact. Okay. All right, so it was lovely seeing you again, and I'll see you when I see you.